Farad Chowdhury. He's a head of Treasury of Europe Arab Bank and also a professor at the London Metropolitan University. Mar, thank you so much for coming in today. My now, you say that actually speculation is normal on these markets and that it has to do more with bad mismanagement of the government than actually speculation on the markets. Well, I think it's accurate to say that speculation, even if that's the right word to use, didn't cause the Greek fiscal deficit problem. I think when politicians start blaming a financial instrument for their, the problems of their economy, it's a bit like shooting the messenger. In fact, a better analogy would be to say people die in car accidents every year, so we should ban cars. It, it's that disconnected. You know, it's not an accurate appraisal of the situation. So I take it you could be reject Angela Merkel, the Chancellor, German Chancellor, saying credit default swaps where you insure your neighbor's house just to destroy it and make money from it. That's exactly what we have to curb. I mean, and it's just stretching a point that, isn't it, basically? It's an unfortunate terminology, and also it's not accurate. It's to misunderstand how financial markets work, or indeed capitalist free markets, not just financial markets. The whole idea is one has a free market, so one can invest in, in certain areas and then gain thereby, and it's a win-win for everyone. To point out just at credit default swaps as speculation causing the problem is to totally miss the issue. The issue is the problem itself, not what's highlighted it. And insuring a house is sound practice. If someone else insures your house for you, actually, that's not the right analogy here for the financial markets. There are sound reasons for having a risk process. But, in but, but we're markets. talking here about naked credit default swaps, aren't we? Now, this, what social benefit do they have, in effect? That's a very good question, but I need to step one back here. Oh, no, My view the is <laughs> absolutely <laughs> the social benefit is it makes the market possible. You need to view this from the Chicago School, the Professor Milton Friedman, of which I would like to say I'm a disciple. You need to look at it from that point of view. You have a liquid market, so you enable finance to deliver its benefits. The CDS enables banks to manage their risk. If you take away an ability to hedge your risk on the other side, then you will impact the liquidity on the first side. That's basically it. If I want to hedge with an insurer, trying to ban that insurer from laying off his risk on the other side will mean I don't have a, I don't have a service provider. It's as simple as that. But Morad, it is accepted more or less that a lot of guys on the markets are testing limits. Now, that is a financial instrument, but if you look at 10, 15 years ago, what Soros did, he single-handedly broke the Bank of England, and it, we may see a similar situation here. I'm very glad you brought that up. Yes, correct. The hedge fund that George Soros was involved in did, as you put it break the Bank of England at billions of dollars of taxpayers expense and they used a cash instrument they used cash money that hedge fund and all the other people who were shorting sterling that day used cash money now that in effect if you like destabilized the economy although what you're I saying don't... is you don't need CDS's in order to just precisely right okay. exactly right <laughs> <But> <laughs> should, should we ban cash money yes it's financial instruments which are testing limits which possibly they shouldn't be tested no they're only highlighting a problem that's inherent the problem in the UK economy was trying to stay in the ERM so we should equally ban cash money if we look to ban derivatives derivatives have made a lot of good in the world. So looking to ban them is the same logic as looking to ban cash money. In five seconds, we're going to get a ban on speculators of some form anyway, aren't we? I hope not. There's no logic behind it. All right, thank you very much. Indeed. We're going to get this man back in yeah, we do. to interrogate more. <laughs> thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you. More Chowdhury there. As you heard him say, sceptical about a clampdown on CDS speculation.